Well, I think for students, it is very important to understand that they are a part of a long history of relationship between community and the university. You know, this class and future classes won't be the first to have a relationship, and so we inherit the gifts and sins of our fathers and mothers. It's very important to understand the context in which you come into a community. The subject matter may impact how people receive. That all goes back to building a relationship, being real transparent, be willing to hear what a resident says without prejudice or without, and when I say prejudice, I mean being willing to be open to how a community resident views the research that Pitt may be about to, to do. You know, why are you coming? Why are you asking me questions? What is this study about? First come to learn and serve, and after, you know, some rapport is established, the relationship can possibly lead to other things. But I think it's really important to, you know, first engage and um, develop a relationship that is um, trustworthy and one that reflects the um, true intent of both parties and specifically the university. You know, I think there are a lot of ways to you know, really reflect transparency and honesty, but it does have to be intentional. The perception of lack of transparency is again, maybe some old history of how things were done in the past. And I think, if, I think today, if we both sometimes don't drop, bring up the past and say let's begin on an equal plane and let's trust each other that this go round, are all of our intentions are good, and that's my hope. I love the Hill District. I live, worship, play um, in the Hill District, and I'm proud of it, and I'm proud of its great history. So I'm glad that Pitt is investing in a way that will make our community even greater through this CEC.